What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dead State. My name is Splattercat, I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit and try and work our way through Medieval Times. Medieval Times does not look nearly as awesome as Medieval Times. Medieval Times is way more badass than this. This is not what it looks like. It's enormous and it just goes on forever and it's so much fun and I promise you you'll have a blast. If you still have a voice by the time you get to the end of it, you have not Medieval Timed properly. It's It requires you to scream your heart out snow blind. Not only the sword and apparent reproduction of a famous fantasy blade, it was apparently done as a custom job as the workmanship put into the weapon suggests an experienced master's work with an experienced wielder's damage. Ornamentation on the round the hilt. That's pretty sweet. Snowblind might be a reference to Snowblind Studios, who did the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance games? Maybe? It might be a reference to that. I'm not sure. What do we have in here? We've got the flanged mace. It takes 5 AP in order to use. She had a gas mask on? I thought she had, like, plate mail or something. Okay, well, slightly out of theme. We don't really have the weight to carry into this with us, so unfortunately we'll have to come back. We'll have to return. But, we will. We'll return shortly, I think. Or I guess I'll try and return in a good mood. Returning shortly doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem fair to you as a viewer, so I'll try my best not to be short. Although it's difficult. I'm a very small guy. I'm little. I have been my entire life. It's just something that I had to come to terms with and accept. So, you know, little folks out there, fist bump, little people, there you go. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a walk back to the shelter, because we got some time to do so. And I think that's how we're going. we got a neighborhood. Sounds like someone is near. Let's find out. It might be one of the... See, they don't usually let you skip the events that actually have characters involved with them, but they might. Actually, it looks like it's a survivalist militia with hunting rifles and all kinds of other scary goodies. Let me see if I can get some stabity. I clicked first. I totally clicked there like four times. I feel cheated. Fire! Somebody's like, where? Get the... Oh no. Oh no. Not gonna go there. Not gonna go there right now. I'm too tired. I can't do it. If we could wipe these guys out in like one turn, I would really appreciate it. I would really, really appreciate it. For those of you that don't know, things went seriously wrong with our recording. And so I'm batch recording this at like two in the morning right now. And it's... My brain is falling apart. Falling apart slowly, but I have no choice because I won't have anything for you guys tomorrow if I don't do it. And so it's just like, well, I had like a brief moment where I wanted to curl up on the floor and just weep. And I, 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 I did the curling up on the floor part and just kind of like laid there for a second. And it was funny because my girlfriend comes in the room. She's like, do you want me to leave you alone right now? And I go, yes, very, very quietly. It was the sort of disappointment that cannot be replicated. It's, it was just one of those things where it's done now. There's no fixing it. I've gone through all the pop, like all the options for fixing it. And there are none. And so I guess I'm just going to lay here and wait for the world to end. And then I thought, no, let me get back on the horse. I'm going to re-record all this stuff because I wanted to go up tomorrow and I wanted to get all nice and taken care of. But still, it was worrying. It was... I was tested today. I was tested. And I don't enjoy being tested. That was the whole thing with college for me. It's like, ew, I'm being tested. I don't want to do this. See, to me, tests are a little bit offensive because it says to me as a student that I'm a liar and I haven't been reading all the stuff the teacher said. I don't like that. I actually do read the stuff the teacher said, and I don't think I need to be tested. I think I've got it covered. I think they tested already basically within the labs. That's essentially what the labs are for. It's like a practicum for the stuff that you learn in lecture. But you know what? Whatever. Just throw a lecture. Just throw a just throw a lecture test on in there. I'm sure me sitting around hyperventilating, having nervous breakdowns over the course of the next five to six days, nine hours a day is totally worth it. Especially given the fact that I'm gonna brain dump this shit the second that we're no longer doing it. So, you know, take heart in that, noble teacher. Get out of here, zombie. I've got bullets, and I'm happy to use them on you. We actually have a lot of zombies running up in here. It may be a good idea to lay off the DACA for a second. Normally, I'm a firm proponent of the DACA. Why am I firm about it? Don't ask. That's personal. Nonetheless, let me kill off all the guys here that are bleeding out. 39 points of damage, but there are a lot of Zeds coming in to investigate, and so I think it might be a wise idea... How much noise does that make? Because it does not feel like it's silenced right now. Does it feel like it's silenced to you? It does not feel like it's silenced to me. That guy's sort of wounded, so he might get omnommed on by a zombie in just a second. I don't really want anything that they have here, so if we could extract ourselves from this kind of crossroads place. See you at the crossroads! You gotta get your bone thugs in right there. Bone, 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 bone. See you at the crossroads. I like that song. Although it it goes a little too long. Like, that's one of those songs that could have excused itself like a minute or two earlier, but just like keeps going. Still, it's a good song, and I'm pretty sure that's the one that put Bone Thugs on the map. Pretty sure. 
I like some of Bone Thugs stuff. They're kind of hit or miss for me. Like every other album, they seem to do really, really well. But that's actually way better than the track record for like 90% of rappers. So, not bad. I'm going to shoot you in the butt cheek. Oh man, I can't shoot you in the butt cheek. Well, that's disappointing. That zombie has a bullet vest. Either that or he was part of some sort of paintball reenactment before this happened. This guy over here has a delightfully shaved head. I love the feeling of a shaved head. That's one of my favorite sensations in the entire world. Just after you get done going zzzp, 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 and buzzing your head. Oh, it's so nice. Every single time I just sit there and I run my hands across my head because I'm a goober like that and it feels good. I'm just like, ah, yeah. If I could get somebody else to do it for me, I would, but... I realize some people are a little weird about rubbing their hands across a grown man's head. That's why I don't talk to my neighbor's kids anymore. You know. There's the joke. Jokes is. See, there's going to be somebody that takes that one seriously. I always hesitate to make jokes like that. Because there's going to be somebody that's like, Spider Cat's a sex offender, isn't he? I'm like, no, I'm... Uh, everything's fine. I'm just making humors. I am dispensing humors. Oh, that's Paul. Don't shoot Paul. Shooting Paul is a bad plan. Oh, we're out of bullets, too. So we're just making this all kinds of unpleasant right now, aren't we? Priscilla's just wasting my time. We need Priscilla to level on up. So do I have to do anything specific at that place for her to be happy with Medieval Times? We'll go back and check again because I want to loot it. And I want to get all the cool replica swords and stuff because maybe we'll be able to throw them around and make people have cooler stuff. There's also a pole arm over there called Intimacy Problems that I forgot to show because I'm a bad host. However, I feel like Paul leaned into that one. Like He just wants the series done. He's like, listen, just go ahead and bite me. It's fine. There are a lot of zombies swarming this neighborhood. We may be dealing with a serious undead infestation. An SUI. Ah. Oh. There we go. That was an MUI, a missing undead situation. Most of our undead are not actually missing. We know exactly where they are. I should have moved to here and then let him come to me. Stop shooting. Although at least you shot the zombies. That's good. It's not going to earn you any forgiveness, though. I'm still going to stab you with the spear. It's unfortunate, but it has to happen, and you look threatening, so you gotta go. No, Paul! Luckily, Paul... Oh, man. Now I feel guilty. That was an accident and a misclick. Paul needed something, though, to give him a bit more meat. We gotta drag him to the edge every now and again, because he gets bogged down in his own head, and he's like, what am I living for? And every time, he's kind of like a saiyan. We take him down to the edge, and we take him right near death, and we bring him back. And it just keeps making him stronger. I'm kind of wondering where the threshold is going to be at. We still haven't found six or seven, so I don't know where ten's going to be on the meter. It's up there somewhere. Sorry, Popo. You gotta go-go. Shooting at me is a no-no. Stopping me while I'm running around the map is also a no-go, but you know what I mean. Get bludgeoned! And so down that Zed goes. We'll step back a little bit to make ourselves some space. Stab him once again. Down he goes. Maybe reroute somebody to help over here for a minute. Although we're not really going to be able to because I don't think her gun is as silenced as they made it out to be. I was expecting the type of silence from like Golden Hour. I was like pew, pew. You know, like that really, really high pitched. It sounds almost like a laser gun impression from a small child. That's what I was hoping for, but nope. No laser gun impressions happening right now. There's been little kids in my neighborhood selling lemonade over the course of the last couple days, like non-stop. I was going to buy something yesterday because I don't think they've actually sold any lemonade, but they've been sitting out there now for like a year. And so I'm sort of concerned that like their parents are trying to teach them a life lesson about hard work and it's not going to pay off. Then again, this might turn in from a life lesson. It might turn into a life lesson for the parents. That'd be sort of ironic. Parents learning a life lesson while trying to teach their children a life lesson. The lesson is nobody wants to buy lemonade that you made out of a can for a dollar a glass. That's that's the lesson right there. You got to bring your prices down. Walmart's beating you right now, little child. Walmart is beating you, and it's a sad thing to bring up, but it can't be helped. Can I take this gas right now? Everybody can take a little bit of gas a little bit of the time, but when people are locking windows and then making you take the gas, it's unfortunate. It's unf and you know it's going to happen too because you're shook. And then you hear that click, and you're like, oh my god, you didn't. And then you just see the smile. You see that smile, and you're just like, no, no. And it's all over with. It is all over with, and that's all you can do to keep yourself from just weeping in that situation. Sigh. Let's get back to base, because we got stuff to do right now. I'm worried that if I say sigh too much, like, people are going to start playing Gundam Style again. And that song needed to go away. That song got way too viral, way too fast, and it was played out because, unfortunately, I heard about it way because I hang out on the internet, as many of you probably do. I saw the video way, way, way before it went viral. And so by the time it went viral, I was pretty tired of it already because my friends have been playing the shit out of it. Let's sleep for the night, I guess. Would you like to sleep? Yes. 
Looters did five damage to the fence. Those bastards. How could they? This started repeating on the radio this morning, and you should hear it. This is a warning to everyone out in the area around Fredericksburg is controlled by the Texas Sons of Liberty Militia. Any attempt to steal from us will be met with gunshots. Take action against us, and we will bring the full weight of our forces against you. And we have been eating a lot of chili and cheeseburgers. All former and current representatives of the United States government will be executed on site. Texas belongs to us, and we have elected Jefferson Claude as our legitimate leader. Any efforts to deny our legitimacy will be seen as an act of war. To all blacks, Jews, Muslims, Mexicans, atheists, and non-whites, we're giving you notice to leave Texas at once. As long as you agree to leave, you will not be harmed. When we restore Texas to its former glory, your presence will not be tolerated. Respect us, and we will leave you alone. Come at us, and we will destroy you. Texas belongs to us. This is a warning, too. Do you know anything about these guys? No, but it's the first time I've regretted hearing a new voice on the radio. This morning, we found evidence of a break-in in the school's storage closet. Or are these to the closet? What the hell is a closet? School's storage closet. By my count, 20 antibiotics are missing. We don't have much to go on right now. I've taken statements from the people who were unaccounted for during the time the theft took place, and I'll read them back for you. I was on the roof smoking. If I really needed them that badly, I would have asked. So anyone, any, anytime anybody steals something around here, it's automatically me, huh? All right. You know if I did, and I didn't, but if I did, you wouldn't even know they were missing. Me? Have I ever given you the impression that I would do something like that? I can't believe you even asked me. Man, someone stole some stuff? That's messed up. I mean, I could try and help find some more. Why is everyone always blaming me for stuff? Everyone knows thieves aren't smart. That's why they had to turn to crime. So we have accounts from witnesses, and we have statements from the suspects. From the evidence and testimonies, who should we call in for a meeting? I have no idea. I... My guess is that Vic Castillo is going to go after Ephraim because they have a history. I have no clue. I don't feel like there's enough information to go off of right now. Agar was on the roof. Ephraim's a professional thief, so he wouldn't have broke in like that, I don't think. He's able to pick locks and stuff, so why would he leave evidence like that? Oscar has a wife who needs antibiotics, which is concerning. That's the... <laughs> He sits very, very stiffly. What is going on right here, right now? I've never seen a character sit in this game before. Oh, man. That sitting seems so proper and uncomfortable. That's the sort of sitting that somebody does that's never seen a day of fun in their entire life. It's like, let me sit down right now, for my feet are tired, and therefore, by mechanical principles, I must lay down and recline upon my derriere. Troy, eh, he's a scumbag. And then Doug, I don't think Doug did it. So Oscar or Troy is what I would say. I'm going to go with Oscar. Oscar Guzman, you have been accused of the crime of theft. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I can't believe all you people would think I did this. You know I wouldn't. Before we go on, we need to figure out a punishment for... Wait! They didn't do it. This ain't about them. It's me that you want. I have something to confess. I took those antibiotics. See, I got a bad cut while I was out the other day, and I didn't tell anybody since I didn't want to look weak. But the cut was looking worse, so I knew I needed them antibiotics, but I didn't want to tell nobody to let them know I was too weak for my job. I didn't know if they would let me have them, and I damn well didn't want to lose my legs, so I took them. But all this time while you've been looking for a thief, the guilt was eating me up inside. I keep thinking about how sad my mama would be at me. Anyhow, I took a few already, but here's the rest back. Thank you for your honesty, Troy. I'll leave it up to you to decide on a punishment, if any, you think that would be suitable here. Honest or not, he still stole from us, and I think the best punishment we can give in a situation like this is to ration his food while he goes out and looks for more antibiotics. I'll back whatever you think's appropriate. He came clean, and there wasn't any major harm. Let's not turn this into a spectacle. I'm hoping you'll go easy on him, but do what you have to and I'll support you. I think Troy has done the brave thing and admitted his mistake. We should forgive him for the crime. If you feel the need to punish him, I understand. We cannot overlook a crime, even if he was honest. He should suffer some form of punishment. Let's say a week of reduced rations. It sends a clear message to the others as well. So you know what I'd vote for. However, you have my support for whatever you decide. It's time to make a decision. How should we punish him? Well... He did give him back, and he was going to need the antibiotics either way. <sighs> Let's go light on him. A week of reduced rations. Troy will receive a week of reduced rations for his crime. Yes, that's my final decision. Everybody else can go along with it, but I think there has to be some punishment for stealing without going through the proper channels. He did do the right thing, and so I've reduced the sentence. He came forward, and he admitted he was guilty. But I think that Sandy is right. We can't just have people taking stuff whenever they want and then thinking that if they come clean, it's going to be all right. There has to be a punishment. That's the decision. Trey will be given reduced rations for a week. It's tough, but it's fair. It shows that there's a consequence for your actions. 
It's not necessary, but I can support this. It's not as bad as it could be. That's a good policy. It shows we're willing to punish people fairly, but without compromising our authority. Thank you all for your input. This meeting is over. So, it was 6 against 21-4. That'll work. You lost them fair and square, man. Bullshit I did. You're a goddamn cheater and you know it. What's going on here? Craig here is accusing me of cheating at cards. There's no way anybody could win that many hands in a row. There's just no way. I told you when we started that I'm a pro. You're the one that upped the ante. I don't care. After I raised the stakes, you started winning all the damn time. It stinks and I want my damn food back. You're playing for food? Not in my shelter. This is to me no more gambling for food. Understand me? What? Where's the fun of playing if there's no stakes? How am I supposed to win my shit back? This is bullshit. You know what, Craig? I agree with you. This leaves us with even less to do around here. Does that mean you're going to give me my food back? Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently all we could do around here is sit in our rooms and eat quietly. Sorry, man. Thanks a lot. Either way, nobody's gambling with food from now on. I know that was an option previously, but this needs to stop. It's caused problems twice in a row now. Damn it, something's been haunting me for a few days from one of the last times we were out. I can't even remember how long it was. All the days seemed to blur together. I had to shoot this kid, and he couldn't have been more than 18. He had a gun, and I had no choice, sure. But I keep seeing his face. Reminds me of something a long time ago. You know what he died protecting? A bag of corn chips and a goddamn pack of batteries. And they weren't even double A's. Some watch batteries. He's just a kid. You did what you had to do. I know. I haven't been sleeping, though. I'm no good to you today. I have to request a day off. I don't like it, but until I get this whole thing behind me, I'm dead on my feet. Sure, go for it. You know I don't like sending you guys to pick up my slack, right? I appreciate this, and I'll see you later. Okay, so we're done right there. Let's see if maybe... People are going to be bummed out about the fact that we... I mean, there's been a number of issues, but... Is everybody settled right now? It seems like most people are settled for the moment. But people are still wandering around, too. I feel bad about accusing Oscar, but... He was the one that needed him most for his wife, and smuggling a few means that he's got extras for when we run out. I mean, but then again, if we're going to run out, we're going to run out since she's the only person taking him right now, so I don't know. I feel like a dick right now. It's all that I can say is I feel like a real asshole. I feel like a prize asshole. Let's go over here. We'll take Elaine Martin. I'm going to put her on security guard. Prevents the theft of supplies and gives us morale. Sure, that seems good. Joel, let's go ahead and put you on guard duty. Let's go Todd Cantell. We'll put you on machinist for arrows, I guess. Seems alright. Karen Landry, we'll put you on farming. Jody Hopkins, we'll put you on mechanic, although those are all done. Then, while we're at it, I'm going to put you on making more sniper rifles, since we only have, like, one of them. Ephraim Montague, we will put you on... Yeah, arrows as well. I don't know how many we get out of that, but it'll be worth it. For her, we'll put her on arrows, too. I like arrows. Arrows are cool. Arrows are always nice by me. We have ourselves an individual out of our party, unavailable for 24 hours. It leaves us with a couple of options, but not really. As far as chemistry goes, I guess make more Molotovs. I, I got nothing else for him to do. I don't know who we have to fill in. But I guess we could take out a three-man group right now. I don't think we're going to suffer much for it since we're just, like, loot grabbing and farming. Like, I think we're just going to go around and grab stuff today since we don't have a ton of time to jump back into any shenanigans. We'll just take the people out that we have. Joel's got his helmet on, so that's good. He tends to hurt himself and we don't leave him with a helmet. We still can't do anything with Max, and it appears as though Charleston is walking around. He's getting his Charleston on elsewhere. The Charleston's a dance, for all of you that don't know. An old, old, old dance, but a dance nonetheless. Wild mushrooms. Yeah, I'm going to take all... No, I'm going to take all these along the way because we need them. Okay, harvested we have. I'm also a sucker for mushrooms. As in, I suck them into my mouth as quickly as possible. Mushrooms are the most delicious thing ever invented by nature. I mean, they're up there. They're on my list. I like them a lot, so... There's that. Let's grab all the loot off the bodies right now. We got a savaged corpse over here. For ex What does savaging mean? Does that mean you just, like, rifled through it and destroyed it? What is we... Oh, we're way down with... I forgot to drop off weaponry. Damn. Oh, we had Priscilla in anyways. It's not even a big deal. Okay, well, let's take the good stuff then. We don't need the shin guards. Those will do, though. Damn it. Damn it. Maybe we'll go... Damn it. That's all that you can carry? What is your strength? Bad? Let's see here. That's what it says. Underneath her character sheet, it just says bad. Her strength is four. However, we don't have any chicken coops, do we? Do we have a chicken coop? I don't remember ever making a chicken coop, but 
Maybe we have one. Can I take some of the lighter stuff then, just to get her, like, in and situated? Maybe it was just the acquisition of... Here, you pick up the gloves and some of the other little things, because I don't think you should be weighed down that much by the random stuff we're picking up. It's an 11-pound sword. How much does the helmet weigh? 12. A little bit heavier. Alright, well, that leaves us with you to pick up as much plate mail as we can possibly hold. Oh man. Well, here, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't need either of those. And then we'll take the plate mail. I think that maxes him out. Troy, what are you doing for me right now? Troy ain't got nothing on him, so that's good. We'll drop that over there. We'll put that over there because I think there's going to be goodies on this character, too. We've got a chainmail hat and a intimacy problems, which is a slashing weapon, actually. Whoever owned this odd but dangerous weapon apparently was pleased with the comparison, writing that the name was perfect because this keeps everyone away and knocks down anybody who gets close to me. It could probably be assumed that the actual intimacy issues were the very least of the former wielder's problem. Is he the wielder, as in he goes out into the wield and wields his spear mightily? I would hope so. That'd be pretty awesome. Well, let's investigate further. We already killed a dog to be here, so might as well get on it. It's strange that everyone in this entire world uses the same color coding scheme for the bathrooms. Anybody else notice that? I noticed that, and that's the sort of thing that pops out at me. For right now, though, let's get into all these rooms. We are making a tiny bit of noise, so I'm going to try and loot first. There it is. We've got to deal with the sons of whatever the hell, too. We're going to have to drop those guys quick. I think we're going to have to go back out to the militia place and take care of them in order to rescue that girl anyway, so I've been having a guilty conscience about it, which sounds like a stupid thing to have over a video game, but I don't like to leave anybody. I'm the kind of person that likes to go out there and help somebody if they need it. Not just, like, leave them in dire straits. I just... I don't know. It seems crooked while we're talking about straits. There's nothing else over here, so I guess that's all that she wanted, maybe, from this location? My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Dead State. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody, and I will see you next time.